Hey guys, it's your girl Tina here. Welcome back to a new episode of Tina Tries It. Today I'm visiting Craft Beast Handmade in Singapore to make my very own custom phone case. This is a super cute craft studio that I actually found via Instagram. It's a place where you can go to customize all sorts of things like phone cases, iPad cases, mirrors, notebooks, earrings, and lots more. At Craft Beasts Handmade, you can let your imagination run wild. No design is too crazy or out there. Here they have loads of charms and decors for you to choose from. as well as different colored cream glues that can be used to create backgrounds and bases for your designs. Phone cases are their most popular items to decorate. You can see some examples here. These aren't your typical phone cases. They're fun, loud, creative, and three-dimensional. Perfect for those who want a unique skin for their device. So today I booked in for a craft session with Alfred and Zen. We're all going to be learning how to decorate cases for our devices. First off, we each picked out the decorations we liked. Most of the small charms were unlimited, meaning they were included in the price of the item, while some of the bigger trinkets were an additional cost. For my case, I decided to go with a mint green and pastel theme, something to match my nails. So I just went around and picked out all the mint green things and some other pastel colors that will complement it. I found this really cute dog in a house trinket that popped out. So I wanted that to be my main piece in the design. The rest of the charms I picked out were smaller and I plan to use them to fill in the gaps. As for the cream glue, there's lots of different textures and colors you can choose from. I went with mint green and white. Once I chose everything, it was time to lay out my design and figure out where each piece will go. For this, there's no right or wrong. You can just place your charms wherever you like. For me, I knew I wanted the dog to be the main piece, so I just played around with the placements of the smaller charms. When I was happy with the position, I snapped a photo so I can refer to it later on. That's important because there's no way I was gonna remember where everything went. Now I also chose to have a little handle on the side, this little flower handle. So holes had to be punched in before I got started with the cream glue. This was done by Siyi, who is the owner of the studio. She marked out where the rivets were gonna go on my phone case, punched two little holes and then screwed the rivets in to secure. Next, I got started with the base of my design. See, you showed me the different ways that you can pipe on the cream glue. Now, she's a pro guy, so it was effortless for her. For me, it was another story. Now, I had in mind that I wanted to create an alternating green and white border around the camera lens. So C helped me get started with that. So you can see as she squeezed out each color, she wipes the nozzle in order to get a clean shape for the next one. When it was my turn to try, it was tricky. You could see how much smaller my piping was because I didn't squeeze out enough cream, but I did slowly get the hang of it later on after a couple of tries. It's literally like piping decoration on a cake. You need to be steady, so I was really focused for this. Thank you. 
Once I was done with the border, I changed the piping nozzle to a bigger size so I can fill in the rest of my case. I decided to go with a line of mint cream glue and the next one have a line of white. So these colors will alternate and be like a stripe pattern. Once the background was filled, I could get started with placing down my decorations. What's really cool is that the cream glue will actually secure the decorations on top once it's baked and dried. So all I had to do was refer back to the photo I took earlier. Remember how I snapped that photo? This is where it comes in handy because I just copied the placement of each charm. Now you don't actually have to press the charms down too much, just a light touch and it should stick to the cream glue. Here's what my design is looking like. I'm quite happy with it. So now it's ready to be baked for 10 minutes at 100 degrees. Next up was Alfred's turn. He's going to be making a case for his AirPods. He starts off by piping a cookies and cream glue as the base. This actually looked delicious guys, like I wanted to eat the cream glue, but of course I didn't. Then he placed his charms on top. As you can see, he went with a yellow and black theme, something a little bit more boyish. Next, we have Zen who is going to make a case for her phone. She's going with a pinky theme with transparent glitter cream glue. So she's working on the background and the border first. After that, she adds in her decorations. Zen picked out a lovely mirror for her phone, which will come in handy for them selfies, you know. And then she has this big trinket as her main piece. I think it's a bunny. I'm not too sure what character it is, but it's quite big. So I actually need some extra cream glue at the back to adhere onto the case. Then the smaller charms she chose will help fill in the gaps as well as frame her mirror. How cute does her one look? It reminds me of something I'd find in Harajuku in Japan. Once all our pieces are baked, they were popped into little carry boxes so we can bring them home because they still needed to be air dried for three to five days before use. We left ours to dry for about five to six days just to be safe. And this is what they look like. They were so much fun to make and I love how each one turned out. What surprised me was the texture of the cream glue. It's actually a little squishy, so I find it really fun to touch and the charms were pretty sturdy and secure. So I don't think it'll be too easy for them to fall off. As for practicality of these cases, hmm, 
that's a different story guys i might have to start carrying a different bag just to fit my phone but hey look aesthetics look how pretty it is anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this crafty video subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already and remember to turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future uploads and i shall speak to you guys next time bye Ba-dum-bum, doo-doo, 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 doo-doo,